Hey everyone and welcome back to my show and now it's time for webisode two. So another one that I did back then, I'm going to be remastering <laughs> pretty much like going over, just improving it, whatever, because the first time I did this was terrible and everything like that. So my little introductions now, I'm just doing it the way I used to do it. That's the reason why I'm doing it this way or whatever. And I know it like no music, the beginning of the video, whatever like that and whatever, you know, or, What's up, Lato? You know, so because I'm just doing this the old school way, like how I used to do it with Jay Vice show for this reboot and all that stuff, just for you guys, you know, that's watching today, <laughs> you know, which is a small few, but whatever, you know, just want to mention that, just put that out there. <laughs> but yeah, so for episode two, um, I spoke about, I watched it over by the way, because I just want to watch it over to hear everything I talked about and then wrote down everything in my, um, on my, um, what's the index card, my cue cards, I always call them. So I can just go over the stuff that I mentioned back then that I want to cover more on and also like just tell it, you know, like how, how I feel now towards, it, you know, whatever I said back then, back in 20, 2011. So, yeah, so it was on haters and um, what's it? Um, no, sorry. Love advice and on haters and everything. So, yeah, so I guess all of the haters first because love advice this pretty much is going to tie into what I was talking about the last episode yesterday. So, um, yeah, with haters, you know, like I said back in the, I'm going to also put at the end of the video and everything that, that the old episode, you guys can see, I mean, the, the original, I should say, the original episode. So I'm going to put at the end of the video once I'm done. But uh, what I said in that video is I was talking about like haters on my, um, on my, um, the Amigos channel and stuff that I used to do. I know I spoke about that and everything, um, uh, with, like how I used to do with the Amigos, we used to have like a little show on there. I mean, I guess, you know, you can't even say show. There's like a channel where we just did like a whole bunch of, you know, shit, <laughs> all kind of crazy stuff we used to do back then and everything like that. And, you know, just act crazy and all that fun stuff. You know, all those good times we had and everything together. You know, everyone just disappeared. I know I talk about that so much already with the old crew and like how everyone's has changed and for the worse and has disappeared, you know, for no reason, you know. So um, I know I had a lot of haters back then. That's what I was mentioning in the original webisode on this show when I mentioned about like haters on that channel and then they came, they flocked over to this channel and everything like that. And just talking shit, you know, just, just talking shit, just being jealous, like hating, being jealous of me and all that stuff. And it's still happening to this day. <laughs> still is happening to this day. And um, even from the same people, like I'm not really going to talk much on it. I'm not even going to mention his name, but the recent video, the one of the recent videos I did last year, on the Joel show was about um what's it was about like my whole like story I was talking like explaining to you guys about my story in transit tech and with the crew I used to have and the beef I used to have with certain people there and stuff like that and then one of them came in my head and everything because I had posted it on Instagram like I was trying to promote my videos more so I like post it everywhere now instead of just posting it specifically in one place so and I have him on there so he he saw that and then I guess told his other friends or whatever they came flocking to my channel for that video and then started talking shit and stuff like that you know about underage and all this nonsense you know but i'm not even gonna get into that because i don't want it to come back and start crap again i got time for that stuff <laughs> you know so pretty much it's like the same haters that that i know you know and new ones there's some new ones too you know and then there's people all of a sudden who just stop talking to me or whatever because of reason like that like you know i don't know why people have always have something against me always hating on me whatever like that like i didn't do anything to nobody like i treat everyone good treat them with respect or whatever like that the thing is what a lot of people don't like is because since I'm always blunt and straightforward with things, they don't like that. You know, they want me to be one of those people who, you know, sugarcoat things and everything like that. And um, pretty much like caters to like sensitive people, which I don't do. So um, that's the reason why I've always been like this for years. <laughs> always been like this for years. And but now I'm even more like out there, like out there, like blunt, blunt, blunt. Back then I was, but to a certain extent, but now I'm just like all out, <laughs> you know, like I don't even care. But, um, you know, like, like I said, you know, I'm just, I'll just tell how it is, but I'm a good person, everything like that. But I know that a lot of people always hated me for that. You know, they always, like, thought that I was, um, like you say, like, the things I say, they think that I'm, like, I'm being mean or picking on them or whatever like that. No, it's not it. I'm just telling how it is. I'm telling how it is, you know, how you act or whatever like that. And, you know, like, if it's a problem, then, oh, well, you know, because at the end of the day, if you have a problem with me or whatever like that or something I do, whatever like that. I don't mind you addressing it to me. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to be upset like, oh, I don't want to talk to this person no more or whatever like that, you know? And the thing is with a lot of people, like, they'll hate on you and shit and, um, was, yeah, they'll hate on you and shit, but they'll never tell you in your face or whatever like that. You know, never. And then for some reason with a lot of friends, like I said, like I had in the past and stuff like that, 
they just disappear. Like they just stop talking to you for for you know no apparent reason. They won't even like confront you about the situation. Like this is what this is why I don't want to talk to you anymore. Nothing like that. Nothing. You know, it's just you're just you know gone or whatever like that. They just disappear. And I don't know. I don't know why people are like that. No, I know I mentioned already plenty of times last year on the Joel show and everything where I covered all that stuff and why people, you know, like, why are people like this? You know, why is the generation like this? Why are a lot of people in New York like this? Why are a lot of Americans like this? You know, and like I said already before, back in the, and, and like I said years ago, I mean, I mean, last year I'm talking about it. When I said last year on the Joel show, when I talked about, you know, when it comes to like long distance like friends from like different state i mean finding cool people to have, like you know that clicks better with me or whatever is usually more common that i find out of state or in different countries and stuff like that but people here for some reason it is different you know like i don't understand but i already know that one of the reasons why like i said is because i'm always blunt and straightforward with things and they don't like that shit you know but it is what it is it's whatever you know that's just who i am if you don't like it i don't care you know if you don't want to talk to me anymore you know that's fine i don't care you know because at the end of the day I don't really care who wants to be my friend or not. You know, I'm still living my life. You know, I'm not going to, you know, just stop for anybody. You know, they put a hold on my life, you know, for anybody. I'm not doing that shit anymore like I used to do back then. Because back then during those those years, you know, 2011 and stuff like that, you know, since I used to hang with a lot of females and stuff, we used to have, um, I mean, I used to be like the person that's supposed to like, how you say, like, um, let's say whenever they have problems and stuff, they always want to come to me and I was going to be the one to like try to resolve their issues and whatever, or they always want to call me or text me to talk about this, this, and that. When I have my own life to live and I'm doing something, I got to stop to, like, pick up this phone call or whatever to talk about people's problems and stuff like that. I know I mentioned that also as well last year and stuff when I talked about with specific people, like um, my old friend, like, Joanne and other people like that. It was always like that, you know? And then where are they now? <laughs> Nowhere. Nowhere to be found, you know? So, yeah. And I remember I was going to talk about that, too, with her about, like, um, what's it? about like um like uh falling out and everything like that but every you know after everything that happened last year i didn't really want to do it at the time but i might still do it this year on the joel show and everything but i'll see about that and everything but um yeah it's just haters just gonna you know haters always gonna hate like they always say you know they're always gonna hate and they always have a problem for some reason people always have a problem with me and i guess from what i can see now is just because since i'm like blunt with everything and being straightforward things or calling them out on certain shit that they do you know, and they don't like that, <laughs> you know, and it is what it is, like, I don't care, you know, like, at the end of the day, if you have something against me, you could say it to me too, you know, or actually tell me, I should say, not even, because they don't say anything, you know, they, they just stop talking to you, whatever, is all behind your back, just disappear, or talk, or behind your back, talk to, sh talk shit about you, tell the people, I'm not like that, you know, tell me my face, because I would, I tell you in your face, or whatever, so you can do the same thing back to me, you know, and everything like that, and I mean, if it's something I really doing wrong, you know, if you tell me, you confront me about it, at least I know, okay, I'm sorry, or whatever. Like, maybe, you know, you're right. Something like, this is something, this is what I said to you was wrong, whatever, like that. I'll make sure not to happen again. You know, something like that, you know. But if you're not saying anything to me, you're disappearing. Like, I'm just going to think you're the bad person, you know, because you just don't want to talk anymore. So, yeah, that's pretty much how it is with that when it comes to haters and stuff. Like, how they've been hating me since, you know, since, um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even say 2011. Even before that, since 2009, because... Uh, my first first channel was you know the amigos and stuff like that my first youtube channel that one i think i started in 2009 if i'm not mistaken and after that and then two years later then i made this channel and everything like that and um when i started my first webisode you know in the jf Vice show which is the reboot right now <laughs> and all that good stuff and um yeah so that's it with the haters and everything like that i just want to get that out of the way first i think i did mention that first in the video <laughs> and the second thing I mentioned, I, saw, I laughed at that, <laughs> was about was about with City Tech. But wait, before I even start that, so what I used to do back then, I used to like um, like have like make made up made up questions. You know, it's not really people who was like giving it's like you know sending in their questions or whatever for me to answer on on the show and stuff like that. I used to just make it up because since I didn't have that much you know viewer a, a big viewer base at the time, you know. And, um, I, you know, I just wanted to make it up. Like, yeah, if I ask these questions, I mean, if I ask people like, oh, you know, let me know, like, and, you know, give me some questions or whatever like that to answer the show. Obviously, no one's going to really do that yet because my channel was still new. I wasn't even getting that much views or comments and stuff until like later on and stuff into my channel and stuff like that. So I used to just make up like questions and stuff and put in my cue cards and I'll just answer on the show to make it look like, you know, somebody's actually sending in their questions to me to answer. I used to like, I always do that. You know, I know it was like, it was dumb, it was corny and everything. I don't mind bringing it back, honestly, just for this reboot. <laughs> I might bring it back some of those like, you know,
Falcone stuff and things like that and everything. But one of them, I one of them was about with City Tech. You know, obviously no one said that. Like I said, it was just me making up questions and stuff like that. And I I had said, um, hey, will I be returning to City Tech? And I was like, no, <laughs> you know, because and I. <laughs> I laugh because they all would not be returned to that dreadful school. I sort of laughing when I said, like, I really used to say something like that. And the thing is, I picked that up from Yuki because he used to say, like, weird shit like that all the time. Or different, like, all type of words that you would never hear people really say. Or people in New York ever say. Or people in the hood ever say and stuff like that. So, yeah. So, some of those things I had picked up from him and stuff. There's, a, there's also a few, thing, a few things I also got from, like, um, from, like, all the females as well I used to hang out with back then. Like, with Joanne and everybody like that. You know, her comment thing was, oh, so I used to, that's when I, ever since then, I, I've been always doing that in text, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, so, you know, you pick up, you know, when you hang out with with specific people for a certain amount of time, you know, you start to pick up some traits from them sometimes and everything like that. So that was one of them. So when I, when I, when I heard that laugh, like, dreadful, that's not even a word I would use, you know, <laughs> anymore, you know, I didn't even, <laughs> it was years ago, so some things I didn't remember, but, um, I was talking about like with City Tech, with City Tech High School. I mean, let's say high school, City Tech College, in um, downtown Brooklyn. Um, I used to go there. I went there for um, uh, damn. I think I went there for two years. Was it? It was about two years. I think I went there for. Yeah, I think it was like two years. I think I start. Yeah, I started that same year. Yeah, in twenty eleven. Yeah, or oh, twenty ten. I think maybe like yeah, maybe twenty ten. I think I started. Yeah, it had to be at twenty ten. So uh, yeah, because since in that video I said I was going to Queensboro, I wasn't going, I was not, I wasn't returning to Tech. So I had to have been 2010. I started from 2010 to 2011, and then in 2012 or 13, I think is when I started Queensboro Community College. But um, yeah, so I went there for like two years and stuff like that. I know I mentioned, I think I talked, yeah, I talked about it already. Like I, I gave my little story on my days in City Tech, and um, it was fun. You know, like I had a lot of fun there. Had my like own little crew, my little clique. You know, so it kind of like reminded me, it's, it felt like high school again, you know, in, in a way, because I had my little crew again, like how I had my, you know, how, well, I, I would not have my crew in high school, I was a part of one, but this one was kind of like my own crew and stuff like that when it came to City Tech and everything. So we used to just chill. I know we used to cut classes on our stuff because we wasn't paying for it. It was financial aid and stuff like that. So we used to just hang on the area by Fulton, uh, Fulton, um, um, I think it's just called Fulton Mall, I think, or Fulton Plot, Plot. I think it's Fulton Mall. It's like an outdoor mall and stuff like that with like, you know, different stores you can go to. Like a little strip. And you just walk and you, it's like how Jamaica Center is and stuff like that. Just a little strip. You just, you know, you just walk, keep walking down. There's like stores everywhere and stuff like that. So that's pretty much how it was in Fulton and downtown Brooklyn and stuff. But we used to always hang out over there and all that. And um, yeah, man, those days was fun. <laughs> those days was fun. My high school days definitely was much, 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 much funner. Like, the, I mean, the best, much more fun. And it was the best best days of my life but college is definitely you know it was up there with it being a second you know and everything like that i did have some good moments and stuff like that with some cool people that i met back then so yeah i do i do remember i did but i just um talk about it briefly and stuff like that but i had cool some cool friends and stuff like that i met and um two of them i think was yeah that i went no one of them in our crew was from um transit tech that i was you know i used to, he knew, we didn't really hang out like that much in transit but we became more close in college his name is rdl so yeah, so we was cool. So what I remember was him. It was Jane, Ar Ar Argenis, and um, I forgot the other people's names. Honestly, that they're, 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 those those are the three, the three ones that I, the reason why I remember the name is because that's the three that I mostly hanged out with, you know, and everything like that. Oh, and Mildred, and Mildred, she, and, yeah, Mildred. <laughs> she was cool too. So that's only four I really remember from that clique. <laughs> there was some other ones. I remember it was another girl. There was another um, guy. I just don't remember the names honestly, and everything. But yeah, those are some days. <laughs> so I don't know what I was talking about there because I, I had fun. Like, it wasn't dreadful. <laughs> like I said, <laughs> it wasn't dreadful. Like, I mean, I had fun in the school, you know? I mean, even though they kicked us out, all of us. <laughs> oh, every single one of us got kicked out of that school. We still had a lot of fun. I still liked it. Will I return to it? No. So I agree with that. What I said back then, like when I said, I mentioned, I'm, will I return to that school? Like, no, like I will not return to that dreadful school. That's what I laugh when I said that. But it's true. I would not. Yeah. If I was to go back to any school, um, it would definitely be like Queensboro College. I would probably return to. I would rather that. But I would rather just do online courses right now because with all this going on and right now in this state, um, I'm not sure if it's still specific. I'm not really going to get into it, but it's like, I guess you could say so like politics as well in this but i'm not really gonna talk about it so yeah so that's the reason why i wouldn't be able to go in person anyways <laughs> i'll have to only i only can do it online 
But um, I don't even think I really want to go back to school because all the shit that's going on now, like, I don't really want to deal with that stuff. <laughs> like, you know, like, all the crap they're doing now in schools and all these protests and this shit in university. Like, this is what you guys are learning now? So I'm, I'm happy those days are behind me. So if I want to go back, like I said, I can just I'll do it online or do a trade school or some program where I can do like a six month course and that's it. I'm done, <laughs> you know, but going back, uh, not not here, maybe if I was in a different state than here, because I remember I also when I when I watched that video where I mentioned um, Texas, um, I mean, Houston, Houston University, which is one I always wanted to go to. And I honestly wouldn't wouldn't mind, you know, even even, you know, what? In this time now, like, you know, especially at my age and stuff like that, I wouldn't mind. I mean, I'm still young, so I don't mind. I can still go, <laughs> you know, even people are way older than me going back to school to finish up and stuff like that. You know, people in the 70s, 80s and stuff like that, even 90s, I've seen one time. So if they can do it. I can do it because because <laughs> I'm nowhere near those ages. So I, I got plenty of time to still go and, you know, and do something, you know, with my life. But um. <clears throat> But yeah, but right now I'm just trying to just save up and stuff like that with this job I have, save up and get some things, you know, get get things on track pretty much because ever since 2020 with these damn people did and mess me up and everything like that, with everything being locked down. So it was, you know, I messed up my money, you know, messed up my flow and stuff like that. And like the plans I had to, you know, it was kind of set back, but now everything is back on the right track and everything um, since last year and everything. Um, for the most part, minus like sad things that happen, you know, and you know, everything with my grandmother passing to my cat and stuff. But for the most part, I'm just thinking positive and everything. Just, you know, pray to God all the time, talk to God, and I'll be good. <laughs> so, yeah. So um, what else? Um, yeah. So that was that with the whole thing with City Tech, because um, I know I remember I mentioned as well in the video that I was doing like some. Um, they sent me to some like, um, what's it? Damn, I forgot what it's called. It's some like program. It was like a different building around it in downtown Brooklyn where you go to to like help you to like prep for like the math because my I suck at math and I still do to this day and I always always been feeling math classes and stuff like that so that's the reason why they sent me there to prep to you know to pretty much like just practice and um get better or whatever like that and and then um, I was gonna do something else so I can get back into school something like that. I don't remember how, how it went honestly it was years ago honestly that was so long ago I know I was supposed to get a certain amount of credits or something like that. I don't even remember. <laughs> but yeah, but like I said, those days I had a lot of fun because of the people I was with and how we made it fun outside of school. You know, in school too, because we just like hang out too. We'd be in like the cafeteria and stuff like that. So we had fun. Like, I, I still enjoyed it. But yeah, but it's the school in general, I didn't like. But what we did in the school is why I still, I had fun, you know, and, and during my city tech days and stuff like that. Queensboro was kind of fun too, but it wasn't the best. I mean, I did have a little small crew, but it wasn't that great like how it was in um, City Tech. And um, because a lot of the people I had for that crew, they all went to different colleges. I know some, I think, went to BMCC. I think one had go into Queen Kingsboro, and then the other one just stopped, didn't want to go back. He just said, screw it. <laughs> he never went back to um, college. So it was like all split up now and everything like that. So that's when we started like not really talking much and dissing ourselves you know how it always is after school and shit that after you like graduate or whatever like that or somebody leaves it's like they don't want to keep in touch like i i hate that always hated that same the way it work like you know a lot of jobs of people you cool with and you think that you you know you guys are close you guys used to always talk outside of work through text or whatever or whatever and then suddenly when they leave or you leave they're like they don't want to talk anymore to you <laughs> i don't know why it's always been like that but um yeah so what else i said in that video <laughs> What else did I say in the original? Oh yeah, the last wait. Oh yeah, with um people, yeah, with people who can't who can be single. Yeah, that is still a common thing to this day. It's <laughs> still a common thing to this day. Well, a lot of people cannot be single. They just always have to have somebody. And I'm sorry to have to point it out, <laughs> but it's this is true. Well, a lot of females is always the ones that just can't be alone. They always have to have somebody. It's like, you know, it's like, I don't know. It's like once they break up with somebody else, once they break up with somebody, it's like they immediately have to get somebody else, maybe like the following day or the following week or whatever like that. I've seen that so many times, countless times with the people I used to have back in the days, my old crew and stuff like that, because like I said, I used to hang with a lot of females and stuff. So they were just like that. They can never be alone. They always needed somebody, always needed somebody, <laughs> always needed somebody. I'm like, I was the only one who was like that because, you know, back then, like, I remember when me and um, Yuki Uso was talking, me and Yuki Uso was talking about it. It was like, you know, like how they always like, you know, they always have somebody 
And I mean, they all, they, they know for like always having somebody and as soon as like, they break up, it's like it's the end of the road for them. And look at us, like how hard it is for us to get somebody, you know, and everything. We, can, we can't just go out there and just find, you know, a dude like that, like how they can just go out there and get guys or whatever like that. Like, hell yeah. And like, that's what I'm saying. Like how long we, years we've been single and stuff like that. And we're not like crying about it or whatever, or being ourselves up or being, the, you know, um, depressed or stressed out over it. Like, no, like, you know, just live, <laughs> you know, you'll live, you'll live. Just, just. Continue life and everything like that. Nothing's gonna, nothing's gonna stand still now. Just because you lost, you know, you, I mean, you, you're not. I'm gonna say lost, like if they pass away, but that, that'd be just because you um broke up with somebody. It doesn't mean it's the end of the world. You know, it's not the end of your life. You know, just continue living your life. Somebody else will come by, whatever like that, and you'll be good. Somebody else will come, you know, like pass, pass on um, what's it? Cross your paths. That's what I meant to say. Yeah, cross your paths. So you'll be all right. You know, but a lot of people I know is like that. Even to this day. A lot of people like that where they just can't be single. <laughs> I don't know why everyone just always feels like they need to have somebody in order to be complete, you know, and that's what I had spoke. I, I've always spoke about this years ago, everything like that. Like, just, you know, if you have somebody for so long and it's easy for you to find people and you constantly always have people for these years, so what if it's like one year you can't get nobody? You know, you're alone for one year. So what? You have people for so many, you have somebody for so many years or you have like multiple partners for so many years and stuff like that. You know, like, give it a break. <laughs> you know, just relax, calm down. You know, so that is definitely a common thing I see a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Like I said, it's, it's a majority, most of the time is, is with females, sorry to say. You know, but it's just always been like that. Always been like that. <laughs> and that's never going to change. So nothing else to really say on that. That's just, just is how it is. <laughs> this is how people are. Some people just can't be single. Just feel like there's none in the world. Um, let's see, what else? Uh... This other one, I didn't see what I wrote here. Oh yeah, long distance, which I also spoke about many times already and stuff. So that was the last thing I mentioned in the in the original video um, on the J Vice show. <laughs> but um, I talked about long distance and how I, I, I said that I wasn't interested in, in being with anybody long in you know in a long distance relationship unless I'm going to live close by, you know, close by wherever it would, if, it, if it was a different state or country, whatever like that then I would have been fine with it. But now things are different because I don't mind, like if I'm living here and I have, you know, I have a guy who likes like in um, Florida or Texas or in DR or whatever, or even Columbia or whatever like that. I don't mind just being able to travel, you know, here and there. Maybe like if it's like a different, especially with a different country, like maybe three times a year or something like that. I'm fine with that, honestly, because at the end of the day, how I feel, I don't know if a lot of people, if a lot of you guys feel like this or, or you girls feel like this, but I don't know. To me, I feel like being with that person you're with for a long time, like, you know, the scene of every day, you just with them every day and stuff like that. You tend to kind of get tired of them in a way, you know, like you kind of want to have your alone time sometimes. You don't want to be bothered and stuff like that. Sometimes you feel like, they, they, you know, they're annoying and stuff like that. Like just, and you just think of your head like, shut the hell up. Like, just shut up already. Like, you talk too damn much or whatever or you know, sometimes you don't want to be alone. You don't want somebody to like try to like, like cuddle with you or do anything type of romantic. You just want to be left alone. Like you just want your own space and stuff like that. You don't want to be like, you know, like boxed in or whatever. Like, you know, you don't have no space to like stretch or whatever like that and just relax because I'm a person who likes to like have a lot. I like to have a lot of time for myself and everything like that where I can just relax and everything like that. Play my games, play my video games and stuff like that. Be on my laptop phone or whatever. And just, you know, collect my thoughts and everything. Just be calm and everything like that. Sometimes you don't want people around you 24-7 and stuff like that, you know? So to me, I feel like doing it this way where I'm not living with that person is better for me. <laughs> and I think it's better for them as well, you know, because we get our space, you know, after a, time, after a certain amount of time, we have our space. Like, okay, see you for a month. All right. <laughs> I'll see you again in another four months or whatever like that. So, you know, that space apart, I feel like to me is a good thing because... I feel like it makes the relationship a little much stronger and stuff like that, especially like, um, you know, like not seeing a person for that long and then you finally meet them, you do stuff, you know, like kissing or all that other stuff. You, you got know what I'm talking about. <laughs> everything, I feel like it's a lot better and everything because um, it's not every day, you know? So yeah, it's just once a blue and everything like that. So the experience to me is better. So that's, that's just how I feel. I don't know if anybody else is the same, but that's just how I feel with that. So, I, I, so now, now I believe, not, I mean, how I feel, not how, what I believe, but how I feel now, I think it's best that way, you know, where you're not always being like, um, just, 
uh damn i only really say harass i'm trying to find another word for where you just have your space where you're not always like um just somebody always around you know i don't i'm not it's a word I'm looking for, but <laughs> so it's whatever, you know. So yeah, but um, you guys are talking about and everything. You guys are not talking about, but yeah, you just have that space. You know, you can have that space. You know, a little bit of time for yourself and everything like that. You know, just always have somebody on you and stuff like that. It's always on you and stuff like that. You know, just have some peace. So yeah, so definitely, definitely now. <laughs> what I said in the original video, what I believe now is that I, I mean, what I like now is I rather do it this way where I'm not actually living with that person. You know whether it comes to a long distance relationship now i understand if the person lived here in the same state and everything like that and if eventually if you wanted to move in or something like that yeah even though i still like i said i was still in my own space you know so even if somebody lived in this state and they wanted to move out together i still have been like no not yet you know like i'll wait i will wait until i have my time or you know just give me some time i'll think about you know things like that will kind of say whatever or just or even be straight up you know like not yet because i don't want to feel this type of way you know but because me, I would just be straight up with it, you know, but a lot of people won't like that. And they're probably like, oh, you, I mean, you don't like me. You don't want to be with me or, you you know, or you think I'm this or that. So you want to leave me and stuff like that, you know, but there's people just need to understand, like, sometimes you want your own space. There's a lot of people out there that are not like that. I don't know how, <laughs> you know, like, I feel like how can you people, you know, always want to have people around you 24 seven, not ever have time for yourself, like just be alone. Like to me, I need that. You know, I know a lot of people is like that. They always have to be with somebody always have to be outside always have to be hanging out with somebody you know i'm not like that you know if i have no one to hang out with oh well <laughs> i'll go out alone that's it <laughs> you know and because in a way that's better because at least when i'm outdoors alone i get to do things at my own pace just get to relax and everything and i have somebody that's talking down my you know talking to my ears and everything like that you know it kind of gets annoying away so that's just how i've always been with it i was just a person who was like this you know i want to have my own space you know i have my own space to do what i want to do relax and play my video games i don't want to be bothered you know <laughs> so yeah so definitely 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 don't agree with what i said back then with a lot of things that i'm not covering now and everything in this reboot with the jfi show so um yeah and that's pretty much it anything else um to talk about with that? uh no yeah that was about it so yeah so that's it for this webisode for episode two on the jfi show the reboot <laughs> oh the reboot sounds better the reboot doesn't sound good <laughs> doesn't sound good so yeah so i'm waiting for my webcam by the way because my webcam is supposed to be coming in today from amazon oh my god it's taking forever my damn my damn package i must say my damn product what is a product my damn package is taking forever but it's because of the weather condition outside super cold brutal brutally cold outside right now man this is brutal like 20 degrees outside right now and it's like ice low the floor because when it snowed yesterday and stuff like that so like oh come on so i had to really walk in that earlier to work and it was like i had to take my sweet time <laughs> i didn't want to slip and fall but yeah so i kind of understand why they're taking a, a while to show up and stuff like that because i was kind of waiting to see if they would have showed up before so i can use my webcam test it out everything and you know and for this um for the second video but they're taking long and good thing i did this because look how long and i'm still waiting you know and also, I don't know when people's going to show up. Because right now, since I'm here alone, I can actually do this in peace and stuff like that. So, yes, yeah, so I'm waiting for my webcam. Um, when I get to those webisodes that I, that I had back then in my in, in, on my original, um, that, I don't even call it, the J-Vice original, wow, whatever. <laughs> you know, when I had it originally on the show, I'm going to, like, if there's any comments and stuff like that, I'm going to be reading over those stuff like that and talking about it as well on here. Even though they're old now, that was 11 years ago. I still just want to just read up on it and just talk about it on here and stuff like that. Because there's still a lot of videos, like old videos I did back then that still, to this day, people are still liking and still get, I'm still getting comments. I'm like, damn, this video's mad old. And I'm still getting comments on these videos. <laughs> like the I Hate Potheads video, stuff like that. Oh my God. I think that one and the one I was talking about, I Hate Bisexual, stuff like that. At one, one point, I had to, um, I had to what? What I had to do? I had to make the video private because it was getting too overwhelming. I'm like, yeah, this is getting like, I I thought about it. I was like, damn, maybe this was too um, <laughs> it was too it was too crazy to do a video like this, you know, <laughs> like too too controversial. That was the word. That's a, that's what I was looking for. Like, I think this is way too controversial. That's what I was thinking. So I put it private. I think I um yeah, I know the I hit Potheads is back out. I put it back out. Everything that was a couple of years ago since I put it back out. I don't know about the other one, <laughs> if I uh, if that one is still private or not. But yeah, but it was just crazy. Oh my God. I remember I did one too on religion when I talked about bad things about Christians and stuff like that. I was like, what the hell was I thinking doing stuff like that? So good thing those days are behind me. Like <laughs> Those dog days are behind me thinking like that. 
<laughs> because yeah, because I was like more of like gonna say like an kind of like an atheist slash agnostic type of guy, but now back to Catholic. <laughs> so thank God. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not gonna really get into that stuff anyways with religion and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm trying to even though this channel I don't mind talking about it, but I'm still trying to stray away from politics and stuff like that. And just talk about these stuff, like, you know, go back in time to like how I used to just talk about these type of things on this channel before I started doing other shit. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so that's about it, right? Yeah, that was about it. So, like, oh, let me see. Um, yeah, and the other thing that I mentioned, I think I said in the last video as well, I wanted to get back my old outfits. This is not really one of them, but it's similar to what I always used to wear back then on the JFI show, my collar shirts. I still got to find my tie. I don't know what the hell I put it. I gotta wait till weekends so I can look for it. And then also I never did I never did my videos. I mean back then I didn't do my videos with a hat on. So I was like, you know what? Let me not use the hat today. Even though my hair is a mess right now, I'll need to cut it and everything. That's the reason why I usually like to wear a hat until I cut my hair and stuff like that. And um yeah. So <laughs> probably get like nice um, mohawk style. I haven't had that in a while. <laughs> yeah, I think the last time I did that is when I went to DR. But um yeah, so anything else I wanted to mention before I close? Yeah, before I close this out, yeah, before I sign off, before I, get, before I sign off the years. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, so that's about it. So yeah, so let me know in the comment section below all that good stuff, guys. And um, yes, I'm just like I said, I'm just trying to see what I can do to get some traffic back on this channel like I used to be back in the days, you know, and just have some fun. But so far, I'm enjoying this, doing this reboot and everything like that. So yeah, so like, comment, all that good stuff. I will definitely appreciate it, guys. And I'm going to see you guys for the, the next web episode. Oh, I forgot to mention that as well, what the next web episode is going to be on. But I didn't write it down. <laughs> so so for the next one, definitely, I'm going to make sure that I'll let you guys know. Because I used to always do that back then. I'll let you, I always let you guys know what the next topic is going to be on for the next web episode and stuff like that. So, yeah, so I'm going to make sure I definitely do that. <laughs> but, yeah, so I'll see you guys next time for another web episode on the J Advice Show, The Reboot. All right. Welcome everybody um, to Webisode Part 2. The first one I did before was just um, maybe like a practice thing, not really much into what I was talking about before. I just want to start off with something that everyone, I know everyone pertains to or something that people always talk about, especially on Facebook as well. Um, but before I go to all of that, of course I have to start with people, of course, that already are starting on my videos already. Um, I just recently saw these videos and already have haters, but because um, on the Amigos, no one ever said anything. Well, all of a sudden, now over here, people want to start stuff. I already know who it is anyway, but I don't really care about that. I just wanted to point that out. I already know who it is, but if they have anything to say, they can always come to me. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, um, to the topics now for today. Hmm. All right, my thoughts on City Tech College and what are my plans? Um, well. After the program that I'm finished with, that I'm going to be finished with, then um, probably, actually today I'm supposed to be finished with that, but I have to do another class there as well. Um, once I finish that, then I'm going to be going to Queens College, that's in Flushing. So my thoughts on anything return, if I'm going to City Tech or I'm going to be returning there, is no, because I have no intentions of returning to that dreadful school, because that school sucks. And that's it. Queens College is what I'm going to. From there, I'm going to go out of state, most likely thinking of going to the University of Houston, Texas. I'll talk about that some other time because mainly I'm here just to, for advice and love. So, all right. All right, back on to the topic that I had before with the um, about finding love and about websites and all, dating sites and all that other stuff. Um, basically, on Facebook, I see a lot of people that are always complaining about... Um, People like always complain about love, always complain that they can't find somebody or that this person did that to them and they're desperate for this person, which that person I'm pretty sure is not even thinking about you. They've moved on with their life and already have someone else. So why should you be into somebody or think about somebody else who already moved on and with someone else? And I know how it is because of course I was like that as well, but that's a whole that was a whole long, long time ago. That was sometime last year. But that's old news and I would like to think about it. But yeah, I'm, I'm basically, a lot of people just want somebody. It's like they always want to be saying that, they want to tell all their friends that, oh, they're not single, they have somebody. You know, this and that. Basically, if you're rushing to, just to have somebody, basically it's not going to work out. Um, 
it makes no sense to just rush into something that's because you just to say or show off saying that you have someone which is not cool at all so my advice is just to wait like i said before in my last bit my previous video just have to wait not rush things and then hope that'll come to you don't just be desperate enough to just try and take anybody just to say you have someone don't do that another thing is don't just look at their looks and say oh let me just get this person so i can show up with this person not because then again you all know that's players as well so basically i just want people to just not like not stress it not stress it as much and not to i know it's, it's hard and all but you just gotta not stress it not be like over exaggerated and going crazy just to find somebody like like it will come to you just have patience and stuff because patience is a key and then that will you know you'll find somebody after that um if you don't want to if you can't do it that way you don't want to wait well you can try the thing inside like i said which is not even that great to me because the people in there is to me is far worse than people that you actually meet in real life or you know school work anything like that um so basically that's it um well there's nothing else on my card here so um yeah basically i'll just continue talking about it um so as we're like i was saying Oh, it's talking about long distance relationships now. Long long distance is definitely another problem. A lot of people do look for like our relationships out of state or you know find somebody. Which I I, I kind of I do that as well, but I'm not looking to go out with somebody from out of state until I you know like I'm actually gonna move there or something. I have money to even go there because it makes some sense to even be in a relationship all the way over there when you know you're not gonna see the person. You know that's not gonna work out. So I don't really believe in that long distance stuff at all. I'm not sure if anybody else believes in that, but that's not something I would do as what it, as to that. But yeah, now back with love. Like a lot of people on Facebook needs to calm down with this and they need to stop <laughs> because they're just making themselves just look more and more like desperate and just like like their life is like going downhill because they can't have nobody. You can't do that. You can't do that at all. <laughs> you just gotta let's think positive and stop. You know. Stop worrying about finding somebody, and you know, it's not all, not bad, bad to be single all the time. It's actually pretty good. At least you don't have all that stress on you and hard burdens or person, you know, arguments every day or you know, some people are already jealous and always want you to be there for them. So, all right, that's all I have to say. So if you have anything else, just make sure you leave any comments or messages, and I'll tell you. I mean, I'll have a, more advice on that, and then on my other videos, I make sure to talk about it. All right, peace out.